Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day, a good time, a good Sunday. This is the third video today. That's good. I right, so if you watch the last video, um I talked about what are these things called? Deeps. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're called deeps. I talked about deeps, you know, and what a div is and what the purpose of a div is. Just a quick recap. A div is just a container. Literally. Like you know how you have your containers with tons of store food? That's what a div is. It's just a place you can store elements. Like I have here actually for element tags. Elements or tags. They mean the same thing. So today, actually, or uh, now, let me talk about something called navigation. Navigation. My bad. Navigation. So I'm sure when you go to websites, you see things like um let me say this website. You see this. This thing here is called a navigation bar. A navigation bar is just used to direct you around the page. See this? See this? This? It's taking me around the page, you know? It's just like... There are certain parts of a page you need to go to or you need to know. Uh, let me go to a smaller website because this is a large website. Let me go to something smaller like mine. My website is not that big. So it's not big. <laughs> it's not big. So I just have this couple. You see, in modern designs, let me show you an example. Some people hide your navigation. Okay, this is actually opened. But like this now, they wouldn't put this here because it would be too much. So some people, I just took the approach because I don't have really much to show. So I just took the approach of hiding my navigation just to keep this place clean. But I could likewise just bring all these elements here and have it as index contact me and all of those but i hit my navigation so you open close open close this is just a different approach having a, a navigation so eventually a navigation is just used to direct you around the page at least to most important places you know if you go to the about me it takes you down you can go up if you come here and click on contact me it takes you way down to my in right yeah I thought I was a bug on my code. I was scared. You can write me a message. You can go up and just to direct you around the page virtually. That's what it's for. So we're going to be making a navigation today. In HTML5, we are opportuned or blessed enough to have a tag called nav. And what nav does is nav is just like a div. It's just a container. You can put anything in a nav, but you shouldn't. You should only put things that should navigate users around your page you can put like i can put like h1 tags and all h1 tags and all but it's not good i'm sure if you put this code because if you're developing like a standard application you should test your code on like some html checkout css checkout css verifier to be sure that you follow the right formats because this helps these are the kind of things that helps your um platform or your website when being searched for like if your code is not solid, if it's not, if there are bugs in your code, Google tends to put your code um, down, your, your website down. But when you've checked your code, you've performed, um, is it SEO? What's the name of it? But there are techniques or tips you use to make your site much more findable, much more visual, or much more um, researchable on Google. So this is one of the things, you know, don't put any elements in the app. Put things that should direct you around your page. And one thing we use is, and on order list i'll tell you what that is let me say first of all we have li boom what am i doing <laughs> li home so we have three of this home about my company um, youtube page and instagram yeah so this is a navigation let me show you what this looks like now refresh and on ordered list is just using bullet points there's something called i believe you should know this or you should think of this an ordered list when there is an on on order excuse me when there is an unordered list there's also an ordered list so this is what an ordered list look like looks like you have ol we have OL here. Let's see, I refresh this. 
other list has numbers or on other list has bullet points yeah so we're gonna use this now i'm sure when you go around you don't see like in my case you don't see bullet points here so to remove the bullet points remember we talked about this let's say we're gonna use this platform we're gonna say i think it's text decoration none let's say i believe this was for nope that didn't take it out get something about programming something interesting i won't say programmers are dumb but we don't like storing things in our head things we can search for i've done this a million times trust me but i've forgotten what do i do i google it <laughs> so how to remove remove what can i type today bullet points from your html uh, get rid of bullet points you will Oh, list style type none does it list style type none yes this is it and i refresh mm. oh sorry this is meant to be on my li tags not my nav i just remembered so let me say i do this now one interesting thing i'm going to show you here is this so this arrow just means going down let's say i want to work on my h1 i want to edit my h1 and i want to do it from the div instead of using it this way what i can do is i can do div go down my h1 and if you go and check you should still do the same yes because it's go to my div search for a h1 search for a h1 with the name with the class first h1 and do that changes on it so this is just saying go to my nav or oh, i should have a ul go to my ul tag then go to the li in the US ul tag and have list things style type um, then refresh yep that's it and now what do we want to do I want to make this straight so to make it straight i think we can use this play in line yes so now they are in one line now i want to space them i want to space every li tag this what we're doing is that i might as well just do this it's still the same right but using this way saying go to the nav go to the ul do this if i have a mistake of having an li tag here same you see this is not edited like this because it's not in the same pattern or it's not following the same order there's no nav tag outside it there's no ul tag so this is being peculiar to the tag i want to edit so let me go back to what i was doing i said i wanted to um move it away from each other i will do something like um margin left 50 pixels let's see what's that about why is okay this look i thought this was too hard like why this together um so now let's do this background i want to play with purple color i want to play with purple okay. here are my colors yes here is purple let's do something in this shade something a little bit dark background color i want this now let's see what this looks like refresh not so nice but it's okay let's change the font to understand what i'm doing with this font this is what the previous videos understand fantasy it's looking a little bit better let's change the color of the text color f f f f f is for white no i think i'm just adding 
makes me six codes yeah this is for white and color is to change the text color you see now now let's make the box a little bit bigger so border no no border um padding five pixel fresh now it's looking not so bad let's say 10 just why not no, no 10. my thing i'm finicky when it comes to css <laughs> yeah so this now now you see how it does not know that this is clickable most all navs are clickable see see this color change and things like this see see what happens there's a color change there's a color change there's a color change there's a color change this just tells you in your mind that oh i can click on it and can see this hand right when i go over this it changes to a hand we can do that through css what you do is to just add something like this um i believe it's cursor pointer this makes or shows that it's click you see it turns to a hand now now to change the color let's just do something like that let's say nav ul this might seem like a lot for some people but if there's something not so clear please just write a question in the comment below and i'll try and answer it so there's something called over over means when i do this i'm hovering over it like now when i do this i'm hovering over here but because we don't have any we don't have any css with this it doesn't know when i'm doing this i'm hovering over it over just means to go over an element now when you hover over an element what i want you to do is that what i want my code to do not you <laughs> is to make the text a little bit darker so now let's say we have white i want to just make it a little bit darker you know something like this that's too dark i think just this uh let's say color this so now let's see what we have you see it changes but something i don't like is that it changes so fast see so fast see my side here it's going slowly 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 see this one here it's slow see this one we have it's fast to do that use it what is known as a transition let me call this an attribute and styling let me say wants to be spent five seconds 0 0.5 seconds now see see so the effect gives it cool yeah all right so now let's make our nav um background color let's give the background color um what would be good in this let's i think gray will not be so bad something like this i think so let's see how that looks background color of gray and then it bugs no refresh okay i didn't want that um so what's happening now is that it doesn't know that the elements are bigger than it it's just showing me like you can see here it's covering the text but because of the um, margin i believe it's margin that we added five pixels yes no no margin i think it's padding you know margin of yeah padding eight pixels that increase it I believe we need to use um overflow also i think that'll handle it shoot yes so now this covers although i don't like the fact that there's a space here how can i remove that space i think margin margin no padding zero pixel that's not removing it. Uh, inspect. Inspect is one of the features that your browser gives you that allows you to actually know what's happening in the design layout of your code. So I'm just inspecting here to know what's actually going on and why that space is there. So I have my nav to be this big. And I have my URLs. Okay, I think this overflow also should be in the ul not my nav hmm that's very ugly <laughs> uh you know what i don't want to make this video too long so i can always change this but the, the point is this is a navigation and now let's say i want to actually link this to my youtube page what do i do 
there is something called an anchor tag an anchor tag so what i do is this this is an anchor tag i'll explain how it works remember i said for an element or for a tag a tag is like a container like a div you open and close it whatever i open which you have to close with that and anything you put inside it will be like a child so let me say this is an anchor tag now href is the location you want to reference um let me go to my youtube page This is my YouTube page. I'm gonna write the link to my YouTube page and save it. Or let me just write the link to YouTube, not necessarily my page. It's the same thing. So now, if I go back and I refresh it, that's ugly. But why is that so? Oh yeah, because I believe the um it um href anchor tag should be inside the li, not outside it. Just happened. Oh, okay, I see. Um, VS Code does some things for you because of the extensions we downloaded. It's quite cool. It's when you're used to typing your code yourselves and yourself are not getting any help. It's quite, I would say annoying, but it's quite different. <laughs> so yeah, it should be back now. You can see that it's doing some styling for us that we don't want. We'll just leave that now. That's so we can change it. But to refresh the code, and if I click on this. It takes me to YouTube. That's how to reference your page to some other page. So this video is quite long, over 15, 16 minutes. But I hope it was worth it. I hope you learned something and see you next time. Please, 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 please do subscribe. I appreciate it. And I love it so much. Thank you. Have a good day.